Alright, welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. This is part two of the Element 3D intro tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and click on Scene Setup, and you can see here we have our two models. I'm actually going to be using some of the pro shaders that come with the um, Element 3D package, so be sure to have them if you do not already. And one thing we need to do is we actually need to make a second bevel copy on this. Um, first model, and you can see here we now have two textures. We'll go ahead and make the first one be black steel. And the second one here, we're going to go ahead and set to something like um, metal brush, just something a little bit lighter on the edges. And if we go back to um, the black steel, we can um, change some different options here. And I want it to definitely, um, you can see here on the side, I want it to come out a little bit. But I also want to go back to this one and go to the bevel size, which is going to be a little bit bigger. And that will allow our text to be seen on the outside. And let's see here, about like that looks actually really good. So I'm actually going to keep that the way it is. Now we need to do the same thing on the second section, so two copies. And then we're going to go ahead and take this black steel and copy the material. And we're just going to paste it on this one, and then we're going to copy this one so we don't have to duplicate it um, and, and remember all the settings and everything. And um, so now we need to... Um, Let's see here, go back to this and go to expand edges, bevel size, let's see here, I need to make this a little bit bigger. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, um, so we got minus 4 and then 1.19, so it's minus 4 and then 1.19. We just need to kind of line these up a little bit. 126, 126, and this one here is actually 0.5, so let's go ahead and make sure that's lined up as well. Alright, so then our black steel is 1050, so it's going to be one zero five zero kind of like that so now you can see here we have both sides looking relatively the same we need to go ahead and um, let's see here bevel size need to extrude this to about 1.37 so we'll go ahead and do this to about 1.37 as well. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see our logo has come out. And I've actually decided that I want to go ahead and work on this bottom texture a little bit. First of all, and even though it's actually centered, it needs to go over to the right just a little bit. And then we're going to go back to our um, elements here, and we're going to make another for the PFL Tuts under the scene setup. We'll hit extrude and on this one we're going to go ahead and go to path 3. So you can see there we have our text and we're just going to throw something cool on here like you know black steel or something like that. So I'm just going to leave it with that for now. And you'll see that you don't actually see anything <laughs> on the canvas. So we need to go to our particle replicator and we need to um, adjust the position to see if we can get this thing to come up a little bit and let's see here and we'll leave that alone for now um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and work on some other things and actually you know what I'm gonna do this a different way it'll be a whole lot simpler so I'm gonna go back to none on that I'm gonna go ahead and create a new solid and we're gonna call this e3 text oh I put a number sign there and we're going to go ahead and drop element onto that as well. We'll go to custom layers, custom text and masks, and we're going to put this one to PFL Tuts. Hit scene setup, extrude. We'll go ahead and drop that black steel onto there and hit OK. You can see there it shows up. We'll disable this text layer here. Go back to this one, go to scene setup, and we can go ahead and get rid of this top extrusion model here because we don't actually need that. So back on E3 text, we can now go to World Transform, and we can adjust the position here of our text down to the bottom. All right, and we're actually going to do something really cool with this, so we don't have to worry about that. 
but as you can see here, um, the text is now on the full thing because we now need to go ahead and um, just bam, have it come in there. And we're going to go ahead and go over here to transform and opacity, drop that opacity all the way down. We'll actually bring this back a little bit and go ahead and put that all the way up. Keyframe that at the very beginning of it here. We'll drop that opacity all the way down so that now our animation comes in and it kind of comes together all in one motion, which is really nice and cool. Okay. So now we can go ahead and go to Animation Engine. And we can enable this. And let's see here. Uh, animation. And we'll do it a different way. I don't want to do that. It's going to be way too much work for this lesson. So anyways, this is um, where we're at right now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and let this be part two. And then we'll start up in part three in a little bit. So I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials so far. Be sure to hit us up with a comment below and let us know. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next part.